Well, today I want to give you an overview of uh, Razer's, uh, one of Razer's new keyboards. It's called the Black Widow Ultimate uh, Mechanical Keyboard. It's a, a gaming keyboard, but it does have some unique uh, keyboard action on it, and that's the mechanical keys that it has. You know, there's all kinds of different types of keys that you can have on a keyboard. Um, most keyboards are these rubber domes or membranes, which some people say is kind of have a mushy feel. Um, these actually have what they call the switches or Cherry MX Blue switches. What that means is that they give you a, a good, um, a really good uh, clicky sound, but also give you a tactical feed, uh, a ta kind of a tactical feedback when you type on the keyboard. First time when I got this, you know, I haven't had a mechanical keyboard since like college days when you had the old heavy IBM M, M keyboards. I was like, wow, this is really nice. So I think you'll get a real wow factor when you first type on this if you haven't um, experienced that type of keyboard. So it's just really a lot of accuracy. I guess one of the other things it has is some really good anti-ghosting, which is uh, you know important in the keyboard as well as helping with like simultaneous uh, simultaneous keyboard presses. Now it's a fully programmable keyboard. Let me drop the camera down here to give you a little closer view of the keys. So any key on the keyboard can be reprogrammed and mapped to a series of key combinations. But one of the other things you can do is you can use these kind of macro keys there here and use these you know, very specifically for reprogramming. Um, there's keys along the top that are predefined. These are your audio controls. These are your media controls. This key right here actually disables the Windows key down here. So you don't accidentally hit that if when you're going for the Alt or the Control key. This actually controls the illumination. That's one of the unique features of the Ultimate. So if I choose basically the function key and this key, I'll get, let me kill the light for you so you can see the blue. So that's the first level of blue illumination and it goes up with intensity with each tap, ending with kind of a, um, uh, a glow mode. So you can see that's kind of coming on and going off. So that's kind of cool if you want to leave your keyboard kind of like in a, in a demo mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that off. So that's a nice feature. And um, one of the other keys here just at the end is just the Windows Sleep key. So these are really easy. Uh, the keys are actually easy to program. You can either do it uh, kind of like on the fly, and I'll show you that in a moment. Or you can actually um, uh, do it through the software itself that you install on your computer. So one of the other things that makes the Ultimate Keyboard uh, kind of differentiated, and I don't know if I mentioned this, there's another keyboard that's, that's sold that is essentially um, the same keyboard uh, as this one, except it doesn't have the illumination, or as you can see I've got over here is I've got USB connectors as well as the audio connectors. So that's unique to this uh, keyboard as well. Uh, that, uh, but you can, if you're not really interested in either of those functions, you can save some some cash, and I think that's in the $70 range. This keyboard's more like in the $120, $130 range. It's a very substantial keyboard. Has some good weight to it. Uh, it does have a like a black piano finish, so you can see like as my fingers run here, you can you pick up some pretty good touch marks. You're gonna want to have your you know your uh, rag handy there so you can just kind of polish this puppy up but I, I do like the way it looks once it's uh, nice and clean it's it's a pretty sharp looking keyboard now um, I mentioned the keys were programmable uh, on the fly let me show you how that's done it's, it's really uh, really straightforward there's basically two keys uh, that you use there's this function key and this alt M key so let me see if I could drop this down so you can see this a little better I just hit function and alt M and what you'll see is the little red light came on it means it's ready to be programmed so I'm just gonna do a key combination like control uh, Z and now I've done that next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the same key again that thing should start blinking so that means macro is ready to accept the key and then all I'll do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit this M1 key and my light went away and it's all programmed so that was pretty straightforward, and that was really simple. So you were able to easily program that key, um, you know, any key, any key. So um, another nice little thing I point out: this is a braided uh, uh, connection to the back of your computer. There's two leads that run off this, you know, one for the USB connection I showed you on the side, and maybe I'll pop that open so you can see that. Uh, so you see you've got your uh, connectors there and your USB and obviously you've got the, the foot pegs on this keyboard too so you can raise it up a little bit. 
All right. Well, again, very nice keyboard, nice sound, really happy with it. I guess the only thing, uh, two things I probably point out. Uh, the only, what I was going to say, the only thing I didn't like, um, it seems like I had some kind of weird uh, kind of issue when I hit the space bar. It triggered the alt key. So I just kind of worked on pushing that key over a little, and that problem seemed to go away. Uh, it is a standard keyboard layout, which I love. Uh, I hate when sometimes the keyboard manufacturers actually switch up kind of a layout and give you either a bigger return key or shift key when you've kind of gotten used to it. So I think your transition from your existing keyboard to this one uh, should be really simple. I recommend it. I think it's a great keyboard. I love the mechanical switches. I didn't realize how much I would like it until I actually you know, typed on them. So I think that will be a nice surprise for you. Well, uh, that's uh, my quick overview. I uh, hope you found this information useful. Uh, and be sure to check out my website, which is actually dedicated, dedicated to this keyboard, which is www. Well, everybody knows it's www, but it's razorblackwidow.com. Check it out. Uh, read about this keyboard uh, and some other videos that have posted, as well as um, other uh, Razor products that, that, that are offered. So anyway, thanks for your time. Take care.